Yeah, you know, I was, you know, I'm bouncing around. I broke my foot my third day of training camp my rookie year uh, with the Chargers. And then basically I, I thought my opportunity to play in the NFL was gone before it even started. And, you know, it wasn't a, a talent thing. It was more of just a, a freak injury. I remember when I, when I broke my foot, after practice, I went in the training room. knew I knew something was up, but I just, you know, I said, "Can I get a bag of ice? My foot's bugging me." And the trainer's like, "I can't just give you a bag of ice. Let me let me check out your foot." And I found finding out it was broken, so I think it was more of just playing with the chip on my shoulder, like, you know, especially when I got to Kansas City, because when I got released from the Chargers, I went, uh, I think four or five months, and didn't hear anything from any teams and. And my agent worked his tail off to get me an opportunity with the Chiefs. And um, I went and did a workout with them. And they signed me to their – signed me for training camp and then ended up signing me to the practice squad. And I got elevated later, uh, like week 11. I played the last five games of the season. Um, but I, I think it was more just, you know, I was tired of, you know, bouncing around two years, two different teams. Um and, and it was really just a good fit in Atlanta, you know, having uh, Steven Jackson was running back there, uh, a, a vet guy who could really kind of help groom me and, and my, my playing ability, guys like Jason Snelling and, and Jacquez Rogers. And, I mean, who wouldn't want to play with a quarterback like Matt Ryan? I mean, you can – that guy, had, when I got there, he would, I think he was, he was leading the league in, like, comeback victories, two-minute drills uh, throughout his career. Um, so, yeah, it, it was just – you know, an opportunity and, and a door open, a door shut when I was in Kansas City and a door open when I was in Atlanta. And I just, I really wanted to take advantage of it. So um, I kind of did what I've done my entire career and I just went out there and competed. And, uh, you know, Atlanta really took a liking to to my skill set and, um, you know, gave me that opportunity. And, you know, I'm, I'm forever grateful because, uh, you know, four years in Atlanta and then I just signed uh, four years in Buffalo two years ago. So, uh, you know, first few years, it was a heck of a ride, uh, kind of mind-boggling at times. What, what's gonna, what am I going to do next? Do I should I have a plan B? Should this or that to uh, really put together a solid career that hopefully, you know, if I could get to 10 years, that would be, uh, that would be goal playing in the NFL. So two more.